So we'll run through it again. So what are we doing here, buddy? Using the leaf blower. We're using the leaf blower. Are we going to make an experiment? Yes. So we've got that leaf blower connected to some pipe. Uh, pipe. We've got it at connected the end. To a container. And the container has a slight fluffy powder. And we're going to see if we can make a cloud with it, right? Okay, so we've got the uh, power on, got it set to high. Can I show her how to do it? Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's not a her, it's a whoever. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. That's a big cloud. It was. All right, bud. So we're ready for our next work on our next line on the experiment, right? Mhm. Mm so what are we doing? We have still got we the, uh, the and the hose and the container with the lid. Now, now last time we didn't have the lid on. Mhm. Mm we just let it all the way open. Mhm. Mm and this time we've got the lid on, and we put in a bunch of quarter-inch holes, and we're going to see if giving it a directed output makes it to where we can change the density but also maybe use a lower power on the uh, the leaf blower because then we could do it more often and possibly um, with less risk of blowing out the motor but we don't want to do a high power and restrict it on this end in the event that we blow out that motor right because mm -hmm. if you put too much back pressure on it it's just going to give out mm -hmm. or at least give out sooner than it would have all right, so let's check our settings. So we've got power. We've got it on low. Why don't you give it a little squeeze there, bud? See what it does. Ah, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Nothing was coming up, right? So we have a result. Not a result we wanted. Either the power is too low, or the amount of holes are too few, or the size of holes is too small. So let's go back, and rather than adding more holes, we're gonna make them bigger. So I've got a 3 8 inch drill bit which would increase the output by another 25 percent per hole so we'll just take each of those holes just tap them out a little bit bigger and see if that output flow increase works I mean we had air moving around in there because there's stuff on the tops where there wasn't before 
but nothing really came out. Okay, so we've got the same setup that we've had. Uh-huh. So same hose, same uh, leaf blower. The only change we've done now is we changed these holes from quarter inch to three-eighths inch. Um, I did add like one or two, uh, just for good luck. And because I really don't want to have to replace a leaf blower. Because <laughs> my uh, other half would not be so happy. So let's make sure we've got same settings here. Okay. Go for it, sir. That's going a little bit. Go ahead and release. I changed the power, brought it up to level two. Go ahead, try it again. Okay. Now we're getting a lot of back pressure there. Go ahead and shut it off. We still have the leaf blower. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, we're going through it for it. So we switched it to full power, we took off the lid, we added more stuff in. If this looks familiar, but not familiar, uh, let's just mind you that uh, you cook with it. It's not flour, it's not sugar, it's baking soda. Um, we didn't have uh, the spare flour on hand, but we had a container of old baking soda, so we've been using baking soda from that. It was a big, big, big bag um, that I picked up last year around Halloween for uh, a different experiment for Halloween, which was a lot of fun, and I'll probably do again. You used it for, with ice. I used it with dry ice and vinegar, huh? Now, what? we're going to hold on a second. We're not going to turn on the power yet. Okay. What I have here is a laser pointer. Now, a lot of laser pointers you can't see during the day, but there's a little blue dot right on my shoe. So if we have a hard time seeing this, Dad. this laser is going to make it a little easier. Can I try to do that? Nope. Okay. So it's on. Go ahead and squeeze. Oh, it might have auto shut off. Go ahead and hit the power button. Yep. <laughs> Do it again. You can really see that blue laser shining through. <laughs> That's why I had, uh, had Buddy wearing the glasses. I'm going to put that away. Go ahead, let her rip. But with the, uh, the right lighting, you could effectively make smoke for a, uh, a project without actually using fire. Just by putting little particulates in the air, the baking soda is pretty much harmless. It'll change the pH balance of an area. Um, we tend to be a little bit alkaline in this area anyway. Um, so it'll be a little bit more alkaline than it would have been. That's not really a problem here. You can see even with the lid off, Go ahead, keep going. You can see with the lid off that even those chunks come through. So the more you're able to break that up, the better it's gonna work. And you can see I've got a leak here. I went through and I used um, rubber cement to put everything together. And apparently when I cut it, I cut it poorly. I've got a little notch here. And I didn't see that when I was gluing it. So I've gotta go back and touch that hole up and that's why we're getting a little collection of stuff right here but overall uh, not a bad way to spend a little bit of time if you've got a couple extra 
things in a couple minutes. And of course, because it's directional, by having the uh, container on the end, um, you can make it go up, down, left, right, whatever. Um, if you wanted, you could probably just use the hose. You could probably extend the hose. Uh, if you extended the hose, you might want to start tapering it down as you went. The longer you go, you want to taper it down smaller so it'll allow kind of the same transfer of pressure through over distance. Because um, it can kind of, just from the friction, lose strength. So tapering it down allows it to keep that going. But what do you think, Bud? Was this fun? Yeah. Should we do this again? Yeah. Tomorrow. You know, oh, tomorrow? I, maybe not tomorrow, but I think... Uh, maybe not right here, but maybe if we went down to like the sand dunes, we could use some flour um, instead of the baking soda. Yes. And with the flour, we could actually light the cloud on fire. And because we'd be at the sand dunes, oh, did that blow your mind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we'd be at the sand dunes, it'd be uh, really safe if we're out in, in actual dunes and not near any of the sagebrush. And it's getting a little cooler during the day so it's getting to where it's not so bad to camp down there uh, with a regular tent so maybe we'll do that in the next coming weeks here. Would that be super fun? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that. But thanks for joining us. I am Paul. Um, I've been in photography for about 20 years. I do uh, a little bit of traditional photography. Um, my 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 is ophthalmic photography, so taking pictures of the back of the eye mainly. Um, but thanks for joining us and hope you come back. Remember to hit subscribe. Um, that way you can keep joining us for more experiments like this.